Well, a developing story, Target is acknowledging the fact it should have reacted sooner in that huge data breach last year, and more to the point, could have done something sooner. The company's security software detected potentially malicious activity, but Target staffers decided not to take immediate action. Target not exactly volunteering this information. It was forced to admit it, though, after a report in Bloomberg Businessweek. Target did get alerts from its security system November 30th, but only began investigating December 12th, and that was when the Justice Department warned it about suspicious activity involving payment cards. Pam? Well, here now to talk more about the latest revelations about Target and its security breach. Our financial expert, Erica Sandberger, is here with more. Okay, there's so much that's not right about all of this. First of all, the, the, breach, and the breach, the hackers, but mm -hmm. second, the delay in letting consumers know what's going on, that this information is just dribbling out. Why is that allowed? Yeah, it sounds really really bad, but you have to think about it, it's like hindsight is 2020 vision, right? We all see signs in bad relationships and we're like, oh, if only we did something different. And I'm sure that's what Target is going through too, because they got, they did have the information, they should have acted sooner, they didn't, and now they're regretting it. Well, you're almost giving them a little pass here by saying, oh, they saw it earlier, they saw the signs, but weren't sure, when when really, shouldn't they be forced to alert consumers immediately they when there's should. even a suspect, the yes. suspicion of and this? all stores should. All stores should. Why and a isn't lot that don't. mandated? Uh, you know, people are very, th th these companies are very um, reticent to make these widespread warnings to consumers because they don't want to spook them. They think we can fix it. We can fix it before something bad happens. But who is in charge of protecting consumers in these situations? Who, which regulator is supposed to make them do this? Well, the SEC is, needs to, you know, is getting involved and they are. Um, and, you know, the, the Securities uh, Exchange Commission is the one that's really kind of like taking control of their their back back end of all of are this. Are they dragging their feet in this? Uh, they're working hard. You know, can I say everybody is scrambling right now to do the right thing. So are the hackers just too far ahead of the regulators? Honestly, yeah, they are. And right now, we're, we are as, as a nation figuring out what to do about this. Because you know what, this is a major issue. It's every retailer. It's not just Target. All it's right. not just Target. All right, again, let's always go back to what consumers have to do to protect themselves. Yeah, is... you know what? If you want cheap merchandise and you like this stuff, go ahead and shop there. But be really careful with your credit statements and your debit statements. If you are going to be using plastic, just keep on checking. And I've gotten a lot of emails from people saying, I was hit, I was hit, I was hit. How did you know you were hit? Because you checked your statements or you got an alert from the, the, um, from the store itself. All right. So pay attention. And also stay in touch with the credit monitoring service. Always, yeah. always. Right. Erica, thank you. I guess we'll be talking a lot more about this. Just to remind the audience, that data hack put about 70 million of Target's customers at risk. In addition to Target, though, as we've been reporting, here's a list of other stores believed to have been hit by the security breaches within the last five months, including high-end retailer Neiman Marcus with 1.1 million customers affected. And you may remember there was also a breach at Michael's and an investigation into a data breach at Sally's Beauty Supply as well. Erica, thank you and happy birthday to you. Coming